Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I have a very special video for you today. We are looking at not one model of Chisos boots, we are looking at both men's boots on Chisos.com right now. I am so pumped, let's get into it. All right, so Chisos Boots is a brand new cowboy boot company out of Austin, Texas. Will Roman, owner of Chisos Boots. I gotta respect the guy because he gives attention to every little thing when it comes to his boots, which is why I'm so excited. I'm gonna open up one of them and we're gonna get the unboxing experience from one because the other one is just gonna be exactly the same. You know how I was saying that Will Roman gives attention to every little thing when it comes to his boots and his business, even when it comes down to the box. This is 100% recycled material and it can be recycled. And this is a completely different box than a lot of other companies are doing. We have a piece of paper that has our order on it. Suggest so trying out boots on a carpet or a soft service to protect the leather sole in case you want to exchange. Pretty standard when ordering boots online. And then it just runs you through how boots should fit. Then we have a little Chisos envelope here. Oh, fun, a little koozie and some stickers. Get these out, okay. Ooh, gotta take in those leather smells. Beautiful boots here. This is their square toe model, the number two. All right, let's get them out. Ha ha. Oh, actually, there's a little inspection checklist in here. You can tell when they looked at these boots so that they were ready to go. This one was inspected by Kate. And there's only two people in Chisos right now, Kate and Will. <laughs> you gotta love the small business. On my left, we have the Chisos number one. This is their black boot model with a medium round toe. Over here on my right, we have the Chisos number two, which is their brown model and also their square toe model. Now you can't get a black square toe and you also can't get a brown number one medium round toe boot. This is the way that they are. But let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Here we have a leather outsole with, of course, Chiso stamped right in the bottom. A three quarter single stitched welt here. A crap ton of lemon wood pegs in here with a few brass nails. It's also a channeled welt construction, which is super traditional, guys. There are a lot of factories right now who take the boots and then put a rib, a plastic rib all along the side here, then stitch the welt to that rib. And they're able to do that a lot faster. They're able to keep the price of the boots down, but some argue that it makes the boot less durable. Now there are plenty of factories who can do it very well, but when it comes down to it, the channeled welt is the most traditional and pretty much the most durable way to make a boot because you're attaching leather to leather. I respect it. It takes a lot more time to make it that way, but it makes for a great pair and a great build too. Let's talk about the leather. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but these boots are made in Mexico and they figured out a way to treat retired dairy cow skins to use for these boots. Now, retired dairy cow skins and leather isn't traditionally used. They're not using calf skins. So I really like the sustainability in that and the message that Chisos is holding true. Even though they have to take these skins through an entirely new process to make them soft enough and supple enough to feel great as a boot. Another thing that Chisos does is they use hard leather in their counter. It takes a long time for leather to set 
in here. I believe Will told me like 12 to 18 hours. So every step is just taking so much longer, but I mean, it's gonna last longer and it's gonna feel better than what plastic is going to. Each one of these boots has a different design in the shaft up here. In the round toe black number one, we have the sun and the stars that can be seen from the Chisos Mountains. And I believe down here we also have some of the mountains as well. And over here on the number two, the design is from petroglyphs that can be seen at the Big Bend National Park as well. So both have some great callbacks to Chisos Mountain and the Big Bend National Park in Texas. Wow, the lining is super soft and it's a red lining too. <laughs> That's so beautiful. So these boots are very traditionally made except for when we get to the insoles. Let's get one of these insoles out and take a look at it. Now they're calling this a triple density insole. So on top here, we have a leather lining. So it's just as soft as the rest of the boot here. But then underneath that leather lining, we have two layers of semi-organic polymer, which I'm not really sure what that is but it feels great. At the heel and at the ball of the foot, we have little bits of gel as well to help spread the impact from each and every step. You do have the traditional hard leather insole as well. And then under that, you have a cork footbed. So these are traditionally made and then it's just like they added the modern aspect. Before I put these on though, I wanna just look at the toes of these boots real quick. Over here we have the medium round toe for the Chisos number one. I absolutely love this look. Then over here we have the square toe for the number two Chisos. I prefer the look of these types of square toes over the double stitched welt wide square toes. I also really like the toe bug. It kind of looks like a dragonfly. So let's move on over and I'm gonna do a side by side. And we're gonna look at both these boots at the same time. Wow, okay, so here they are side by side. That insole is really nice. A lot of times I'm afraid of gels because the wobble back and forth is not comfortable for me. It's just springy but supportive at the same time. This feels spectacular. It feels spectacular in the arch of my foot. <laughs> they just look spectacular too. I like the little red line on the heel too. It's just a nice little nod of personality when it comes to boots. And since guys wear their jeans over the top, it's nice to have something at the bottom to show off, yeah. I'm a Chisos man. I really like the look and the feel of this boot. Now, I have a very special extended test that I'm going to be doing, so let's roll to that. So I made my way to Provincetown, Massachusetts and met with artist and woodworker Raul Delara, who sculpts amazing pieces out of wood and also wears Chisos boots. We're both doing the Chisos boots right now. What do you like? about the Chisos and why do you keep coming back to it for your work here in the studio? When I unboxed the, the boots, the moment I put them on, it, it felt as if they were just at the right moment to like be broken into. It seemed like the, the hard time of like having to adjust to like the bends of the, a new leather or like the tightness of the sole, it just kind of felt right. I just love the, the smoothness of the inside. They just like really like glide into your foot. Mm -hmm. Another reason why I really like these boots is because of the comfort of the, the sole. For me, I, I step kind of heavy on my, like the ball of my big toe. It just kind of feels like it takes that into consideration and it feels as, as if the pressure's even. Having to wear this kind of boot, one, they're durable. If I get like oil on them from like the chainsaw or uh, wood dust, all, you know, any, anything like that, 
it doesn't really stick to it, so I can just clean them off really easy. They just feel, you know, solid. I don't, I don't baby my, my boots, I don't baby my shoes or clothes. I really like wear them and like kind of like anything in my life, I, I definitely put it to the test. Having something on my feet that I can pick up a log of wood, be here with the chainsaw, sand, get on top of a table, climb a tree, you know, run around and don't have to worry about them falling apart. To me, that's, that's great. And that's, you know, the, the least I have to worry about what I'm, what's on me, the better for me. Done at the studio, we decided to go to the beach, but the conversation of Chiso's boots continued. I can definitely tell you that like with the Chiso's, like my favorite part of it is how easy it is to put on and off and how soft they are. Yeah, I noticed that too. And the leather is so much different because it's um, the retired dairy cow leather that they use instead of like the calf hide. It has a thickness to it, but it's not super stiff. Mm -hmm. When you said that earlier, and you said it was at the perfect point to where you could break it in, like it wasn't broken in yet, you knew that, but yet it felt like it was almost there. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. Yep. I, I, it feels that way. I know they do something special to make their leather like that, and I know that they won't share it, but I'm super curious Yeah. what they do. I can tell you what. Did Will tell you? No, I don't know the secrets. And also, <laughs> I don't want to know the secrets because I like things just to be kind of magical too. Uh -huh. Raul and I are down at the beach here, and we're giving the uh, Chisos the beach test. <laughs> <laughs> Getting sand in your shoes is something people just live with, but don't really like question. I'm not trying to just get sand in my shoes. Like, you know, it, it, like if the boots are letting it not happen, then I'm okay with that. <laughs> It's gonna be so funny when somebody walks down this beach later and they're like, what were they wearing? Is that an animal? It's probably not common to see cowboy boot prints on the beach. Done at the beach, it's time to talk to owner Will Roman. I had a few back injuries in my 20s actually. I had a weightlifting accident, then I had a motorcycle accident. And so, you know, this made wearing boots painful. Now, of course, being a Texan, I wasn't gonna stop wearing boots. So I would, you know, buy a half size up or a whole size up and I put inserts in them and all sorts of stuff. Um, but then it looked like I was wearing clown shoes. January of 2019, I was out in West Texas. My back was killing me at the end of every day. And I'm sitting there one night and I'm looking, I'm looking down at, at my feet and I'm, I'm thinking, man, how, how hard could it be to make a comfortable pair of cowboy boots? Well, it turns out pretty damn hard. <laughs> That's where it all started. And so, um, you know, I, I, I dove into how to make them and I bought every, I went to the bookstore. I got just clear their whole rack of cowboy boots. I bought books online. And so I was just reading everything I could. And at the same time I was asking around, Hey guys, you know, people that I knew in my network saying, you know, any of y'all know cobblers that I've met with some of the ones here in Austin and you know, a friend of a friend had somebody they knew down in Guanajuato, Mexico, which is, you know, the Leon in Guanajuato is the leather capital of the world, or at least North America. So I spent collectively three months of 2019 in Mexico in the workshop. And it's one of those small spots. There's about 20, 25 people total. Um, not one of those big 700 person factories like they got down there. And he taught me the art of boot making. And so I, I set off you know, wanting to make a comfortable boot. But what I realized is a lot of the, the big players have been cheapening their boots. They've been introducing plastic heel counters or they're putting, you know, synthetic shanks or they're cutting out on the cushioning or they're lowering the quality of the leather. There's a number of different things that they, that they do. And so I said, well, why don't we go back and do it old school? You know, the way it used to be done, which is designed to be absolutely adorable. And then let's marry, you know, the past 50 years of technology that, you know, thank you, Phil Knight and Nike. And, you know, let's take that idea that a, that a shoe could be comfortable and let's put the two together. And, and the result is, is Chiso's boots. And you tell me a little bit about your process and 
the idea behind actually creating the insole that you have in the Chisos boots? The idea originally is just quite simply is, is that I was going to, you know, Walmart and buying insoles and Dr. Scholl's gel and all that kind of stuff. And I was shoving them in my boots, trying to, trying to make it more comfortable. There's two side effects to that, which is that one, um, it doesn't fit anymore, clearly. So you, that's part of me buying bigger sizes. And then two, it doesn't feel the way I want a cowboy boot to feel. It doesn't look, you know, high quality when you look into the boot, when you pull them on. You know, I set out going, okay, how do we build this into the boot? And so this required restructuring the the vamps and the lowers to 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 accommodate that extra room. At the same time, I'm working uh, on the insoles themselves. And so this took figuring out, okay, what are you know, all the different polymers that people use. You know, you've got a certain type that is the main body, then you do have gel, which is for that impact dissipation. So when you walk, you know, it, it doesn't go up into your body, it dissipates into the materials. Um, at first, at one point, we had memory foam on them because I'd seen that in some other boots that I cut open. The problem with memory foam though, is that once you stand on it for a few hours, it loses its rebound and it compresses. So it's like, okay, we're not gonna use that, you know, so we'll use another foam. And then the, the, the last piece was, okay, I was, it absolutely had to be topped with leather. Mm -hmm. And this is something that the guys I was working with had never seen. And so the process for figuring out how do we bond the leather to the top of those polymers so that it doesn't peel out, it doesn't crinkle, it doesn't melt when we do the process. But the, the thing here though is again, it's, it's like you alluded to about old and new is that you know, the leather has natural antimicrobial properties. It has a certain texture to it that we all like. And so we're, we're still including that. And then you've got that extra cushion underneath. Um, and one small detail, I don't know if you know this, but we actually still put cork in our footbed, which yes. is old, right? Which is old school, which is what you used to do when you didn't have any cushion, you'd put cork. So you had a little bit. And I was like, you know what, let's put it in there anyway. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we, we, we've, we've got pretty much as much as you can get on the market. And here's the thing, like you, it's a handmade boot. You know, it's handcrafted. Uh, it's not machine made like a sneaker, you know, overseas. It is, it's handcrafted right here in, in North America. All right, let's talk final thoughts on the Chisos boots. They are incredible. Now, I have never tried a boot like this before. You have to experience it for yourself to, to completely understand what I'm talking about. It's soft, but it feels durable at the same time. Great leather, really cool that they're able to use the retired dairy cow leather and make it feel so unique. When you step into this boot, you will feel taller than what it looks like you should feel because the insole is just so thick. This is about an inch and three eighths stack leather heel here, but because the insole is so thick, it feels like you're standing with a two inch heel. So much extra space there. And this insole actually takes a little bit to get used to just because it's unlike anything else that is out there. It has a leather lined top and it feels really nice. It's got a nice foam feel with a little bit of gel in the heel but not so much where you kind of wobble side to side as you walk in this the leather kind of forms to your foot that will create a little bit of a cradle for my foot as i break this in more and yet i'll still have the cushion that is supplied by this insole so this is a really cool design but it feels spectacular. It is so comfortable. These boots, they look good, they feel good, and they can handle it. They can handle what you give them. And I have so much respect for this boot because it has the traditional methods of building a boot right. The one thing that you're gonna have to watch out for though is that red leather lining. It bleeds onto your socks, okay? If you're wearing white socks, with Chisos boots, you will end up with pink socks at the end of the day. So I would recommend you wear these boots with black socks or socks that you just don't care about because they will 
stain, the dye does run. You might have looked at Chisos online and wondered, are they really worth $500? I gotta say, they're worth more than that. I mean, if you look at what Lucchese is doing, this is such a great boot that can compete on that level, but it's cheaper than what Lucchese would do. And they're staying true to themselves by using retired dairy cow leather. It just hits the point on everything. It has personality, it has uniqueness, it has quality, it has durability, and it has value at the $500 price point. You won't try another boot like this this year. Be sure to catch the cowboy boot profile where I featured Raul and his Chisos boots. And also be sure to check out the entire interview with Will Roman from Chisos Boots as well. Thank you so much for watching today and I wish you all the best. Peace everybody, have a good one. Well, it's a beautiful piece of construction. Yeah, a beautiful piece of art. Yeah, Chisos means quality and comfort. With roots from Texas at the start, yes. <laughs> My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.